Welcome back everyone, today's topic is root, and we will also discuss the safest method to root any Android phone, without voiding the warranties, and all the things we can do, after rooting the device. So, let's start. The first thing is, what is root? Basically it means the root account, that is, a special user with complete access to all the files and commands. Like administrator account, in Windows and super user in Android. And, we are here, to know about the root in Android system. So, in the context of Android, root access allows the user to have complete control over the device. And, root access is commonly granted for developers. Now, a question arise, that why the phone manufacturing companies doesn't give the rooted phone to its users. The reason is simple, every Android app runs with its own user ID. This means that every app has its own data isolated from every other app. For example, if you install your bank's application, its data will be stored so that it's only accessible by the bank's application, other applications on your device can't snoop on it. On standard Android configuration, no app can access any other app's data, no matter how many permissions the app asks for. And this changes on rooted device. As an application with root permissions can read other apps' data. So, if there are risks, then why do people root? Let's see the reasons why people seek out root access. Firstly, remove unwanted applications. Many devices comes with unnecessary applications. Some of the applications are full versions and others are demos. Often, the user doesn't want those and will never use them. Unfortunately, without root access there is no way to remove those apps. Secondly, increase performance. By adjusting the CPU speed, one can get a better performance from the hardware. There are many applications, which require root access, that allow the user to customize their CPU clock speed and voltage. Some users slow down the CPU in order to decrease power consumption and increases battery life, while other users speed up the CPU for higher performance. Next, full data backup. With root access, the user is able to backup all files stored in all areas of the device. Also, the root user is able to perform a complete restoration to a previously good state. Next, custom themes. With root access, users are able to change the color or image of any part of Android. Different Android manufacturers provide different themes, like HTC Sense and Samsung TouchWiz. Many people seek alternative themes ranging from changing the lock screen text or sliding motion etc. Lastly, latest Android OS. With root access user is able to load the latest version of the Android OS like by flashing custom ROMs. Now let's understand the most commonly used terms. ADB, Android Debug Bridge. This is provided by Google, for communication between a computer, and an Android device, over USB or Wi-Fi. BusyBox. BusyBox in Android is something you install on your phone, to provide some additional Linux and Unix commands. Brick, or bricked phone. It means one thing, your phone won't turn on in any way, and there's nothing you can do to fix it. Recovery. A minimal OS system mode on Android devices, for restoring and repairing the Android OS. Flash. It is the process of installing custom software, such as a ROM. Next, bootloader. The bootloader is the first piece of software, executed when the device is turned on. Bootloader is the one, which loads Android. Increasingly, the bootloaders of devices, are being sold in lock state, and in order to get permanent root access, the bootloader should be unlocked. Lastly, Exploit. It's a software program, that uses a bug, to bypass Android security, granting the user root access. Now, let's move on to the process of rooting. The best and the safest way to root an Android is by Kingroot. It is an application, 
It searches its online database for root exploits that will work on your Android device, and then automatically applies the best exploit to get your Android device rooted. It's simple and safe. Just one tap and your phone will be rooted. Also you can easily unroot your phone without voiding the warranty. That's all for today's video. If you like the video then give it a thumbs up. If you have any query then comment down below. And for more videos subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.